big difference between the Golden Globes and the NFL. On the Golden Globes, we have fewer camera shots of Taylor Swift. I swear. There's just more to go to here. Oh, boy. Our first question, do I have lipstick all over my nose? Uh, I'm just going to leave it. Thanks to Succession, I've been in here a couple times, it's nice, but I sort of uh, accepted I was never going to be on the stage, so this is a nice moment. Suck it, Pedro. Sorry. <laughs> Mine. Kieran's usually better at these speeches, right, though? Do you want to get up instead? Do you want to... Yeah, you take it instead. Um, thanks to uh, the Golden Globes, this is really heavy. There's so many people who I probably forgot to thank. Oh, my God. All of my agents and managers' assistants. To the people who answer my emails. Surely this is the first time this award has been given uh, to an actor who has played a man who smells like fish. Thank you, Golden Gloves. I really need to thank the father of my children and um, my best friend, Justin, for all of your love and support. It's because of you that I'm able to be a working mother. This is for every little Rez kid, every little urban kid, every little native kid out there who has a dream, who is seeing themselves represented and our stories told by ourselves in our own words. Thank you, we would like to dedicate this to every single person on the planet who dressed up and went to the greatest place on earth, the movie theaters. You know, our show is actually based on a real road, road rage incident that actually happened to me, so I'd be remiss not to thank that driver most importantly, thank you to the entire restaurant community. You know, we play these characters for a couple of hours a day, for a couple of months out of the year, but this is y'all's reality, the highs and the lows. We decided this was the right time to end the show, and um, that was very bittersweet, um, uh, particularly for me, because I finally bought some shoes that are appropriate for <laughs> awards dues, and this might be the last time I ever get to wear them. I just wanted to speak to Bruce Springsteen the whole night. <laughs> we have the same birthday. 23rd September. He's been my hero since I grew up. I have to say, I'm so pleased that Chris has been acknowledged because I just think that what he does is unlike anything anyone else is doing. Um. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.